Everybody has lots of dreams in one's own life. However, the fact is that hard work is a must to make a dream come true. Dr. Mahavir Poon, a Nepalese community leader who connected the people of rural Nepal through wireless internet technology to the outside world when the country was still fighting for peace during Nepalese civil war. In 2012, he founded a non-profit organization called National Innovation Center in order to foster economic development of Nepal through innovation. Fast forward in 2020, when the COVID crisis took Nepal by storm, creating a serious strain in already weak healthcare infrastructure of Nepal, the National Innovation Center, under the leadership of Dr. Mahavir Poon, jumped into action by building much-needed healthcare infrastructure for hospitals and frontline healthcare workers. In order to protect frontline healthcare workers, Poon and his team at the National Innovation Center worked day and night to mitigate the COVID-19 pandemic in Nepal. The National Innovation Center was working 24-7 despite the entire nation under lockdown, where everyone in the nation were desperately waiting for the pandemic to pass. Soon after, when the situation was getting back to new normal, Nepal got hit by second and more contagious variant of COVID-19. The second wave of COVID plunged Nepal into a public health crisis. Both public and private hospitals started to be overwhelmed and even started to turn away patients for lack of beds and medical equipments. The influx of patients significantly increased the demand for medical oxygen. The small Himalayan nation needed more oxygen than the nation could supply creating a huge scarcity for oxygen. In order to tackle this issue, first we started by repairing existing oxygen concentrators and distributed to hospitals free of charge. Second, due to the limited number of oxygen cylinders compared to number of patients, we built about 1500 Y splitters so that one oxygen cylinder could be used to treat multiple patients at once. Dr. Mahavir Poon's initiative was supported by well-wishers from all around the world and their outpouring support enabled Poon's initiative to provide over 200 oxygen concentrators in the remote areas of Nepal where they were needed the most. In addition to this, Dr. Poon's initiative built seven mini oxygen plants by using set of oxygen concentrators enough to supply a consistent flow of oxygen to hundreds of patients in seven of the most rural areas of Nepal. Over five oxygen plants were also repaired in several hospitals all around Nepal, which provided consistent flow of oxygen to thousands of patients. Dr. Poon still continues to work day and night and has no intentions to stop. <laughs>